Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. By the title, you can tell that I am going to be doing something different in my truck. Primarily, I am going to be renovating. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what my truck looks like right now. So as you can see, everything's pretty much bare. I don't have any real decorations like I did in my last truck, um, except for some fake plants, which I got from my last truck, and that mirror on the closet door. I don't even have my bed spread because at this moment I was doing laundry, um, but yeah. It's pretty basic, there's not much to it. All I did was straighten it up just now. You guys know that in my last moving in video, when I had my last truck, I did renovate it a lot better. I personalized it a little bit more, added some lights, a little bit of curtains, a little bit of you know fake plants, things like that. But this time around, because this was a brand new truck when I received it, I didn't really wanna to do too much to it. The most I did was put a little mirror in here. Now, when I say that I'm renovating, I truly mean that I have an idea that I'm gonna to try to bring forth like out of my mind. Um, what I really wanna do is renovate this top space, this top bunk space. I originally said that I never wanted to have this top bunk down because I like having the open space. The light is very bright, but when this top bunk is down, it's dark in my um, actual bedroom space. I say bedroom, like it's not all the same room. I've been in this truck since March. I haven't used this top bunk at all, for not even for storage. Everything else is stored in these cabinets and things like that. But I recently came up with the idea, I truly feel like God gave me this idea, to make this top bunk space an additional bedroom or more so an office where I'm going to be like filming more. I'm going to have space to edit. If I wanna study the Bible or read, I'm gonna be up there. So I'm going to most specifically show you what up there looks like now that I put it down. I have been up there just test seeing if I like being up there and I do. I do have some of my things up there, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like before and then I'm gonna tell you my idea. Idea. First things first, I gotta take this ladder down because unlike the last truck, this truck doesn't have like a stepping space. So I have to actually put this ladder down. So immediately it's a lot brighter up here. I don't know about the quality because I had to zoom the camera out, but for the most part, I just have my plush seat. It's like a bed seat. Then I just have all my books here. I have my desk here that folds out so that it can be like a lap desk. This is just my tripod. I have my charger and things like that. And I have my laptop over there. And that's pretty much it. If you can see, if I wanted to, I could use this. This is a window, I'm not gonna open it. But then this is a window as well. It's a lot larger than the windows down there, which is super small. But then I also have these areas where I can place baskets and I just have right now these flowers that I never used, that I bought a while ago. So I just literally sit them up here. Sometimes you guys see them in my videos. And then I store my workout uh, equipment and things like that over here in just a random spray bottle. Over here is absolutely nothing. It's actually pretty junky. This was my, um, what is it called? It's like not a humidifier, but it's just one of them. I guess it's a humidifier. I don't know what it is, but it shoots steam out and it smells good. And this is some lights that I had in my last truck. It's nothing else. So I'm going to utilize this space since I'm able to grab these things from up here. I don't wanna have to keep climbing down this ladder. So I'm gonna use these spaces. So the goal is I'm going to try to spend as little money as possible. I only have two stores that I'm going to allow myself to purchase from. That's Dollar Tree and that's five and below. I'm not going anywhere else specifically because I always end up changing my mind and wanting something different later and I wouldn't want to spend too much money in something like this. Especially since this is in my apartment, a lot of the things that I'm going to be using, I'm not going to use anywhere else. It's going to be mainly here. So I'm not gonna spend too much money on it. I did order a ring light off Amazon. I'm going to have it set up where I essentially have a studio. 
I'm gonna have a tripod with a ring light up here so that I can have brighter light for when I'm recording myself for videos and things like that. I already ordered also a blanket from Amazon that I can lay down on the bed so that it's not hard because it doesn't have a mattress up there. I specifically asked if I could not have a mattress up there because I want for my things to be up there without slipping off. And when a mattress isn't on there, this lip is high enough that things can just hit the the lip the 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 end of the bed you get what i'm saying outside of that i'm gonna buy some storage bins i already have a lot of baskets up here but i'm going to find some that are cuter and i'm going to use these too but i'm going to try to find some that i can put off in the corner so i'm going to be going for baskets i'm also going to find something like maybe pillows i'm probably going to find some snacks that i want to put up here maybe I don't know coffee mug or something just something that makes me feel more cozy and whatever else i can find so we're gonna go ahead i'm already done straightening up in here so all i have to do now is go to the stores grab these things i'm gonna be looking around you're gonna come with me and we're gonna see what i can find in either of these stores and it will come back decorate and you guys will see the final result so all right Okay, so I'm like literally down the street from a Dollar Tree, but I just found this tropical smoothie cafe. And I was either gonna go to a tropical smoothie cafe or a Starbucks, but I found the smoothie, which I feel like it's, it's sort of better because smoothies are a tad bit healthier, even though I know they just, they probably make it full of sugar, but that's quite all right. I need to pick me up. And I always get the same thing every single time. I always get, if you hear this water, it's my water bottle at the bottom of the floor. How many people got like 30 water bottles in their truck? I try to throw them away, but I always end up with multiple water bottles in my vehicle. I keep saying truck, I'm in my car. You can't even see me. I'm about to get the same thing I always get. Hi, Hi could I please have the Chia Seed Banana Boost with um, peanut butter? Is that Chia with peanut butter? Yeah, the Chia Banana Boost drink. Okay. That should be it. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. No Thank you. How much is it? Hello? Have the yeah, how much was it? <laughs> Thank you. Now, can I at least get my total? Thank you. No problem. Have a nice day. You too, thanks. Okay, so if you're just wondering what drink I got, it's comparable to like a peanut butter protein drink. It's not even really protein, but if you've ever went to like, I don't know, a place where they give you protein drinks, they tend to put peanut butter in it, it's really good. So I get the Chia Banana Boost. It's like, it tastes more of like a treat to me, which is why I get it. Cause I'm not always in the mood for something fruity. This is like when I want ice cream and I want ice cream a lot. And so I almost always get this. And it's huge. If you've ever been to Tropical Cafe, then you already know what I'm talking about. We stopped in the middle of the street. All right, we just made it to Dollar Tree. Which child, a mess. Because when I tell you, I passed Dollar Tree like four times, couldn't figure out where it was. And it was clear as day. Just wasn't paying attention because this smoothie is too good. <laughs> it's like cinnamon, dates, banana, peanut butter, and it's something else. Anyways, let's go up in here. much of anything that I feel like is gonna decorate the place so I'm crossing my fingers for five and below which they always have the better decorations I just needed to get some things that I knew I could find it by five and below but I could also find it Dollar Tree for cheaper because five and below they're cheap but some of the stuff that could be a dollar they'd be making five dollars just because it's five and below so always my model is always going to the cheapest place first so that I don't go to the more expensive place buy it and then go to the cheaper place and find out that I could have got it for cheaper so now I'm going to five and below I 
got here, but I'm blessed. Didn't know it'd take me past my destiny. You're behind me with the rest. Cause I'm a mess. No more you. I just made it back into the truck. I literally just put all this stuff in here. So I have my stuff from Amazon that I didn't, or I did tell you guys about. And then I got everything down here I'll show you. So now we're about to go ahead and get started. Like I said, I don't know if I said this or not, but Dollar Tree didn't have everything that I probably would have grabbed and then five and below they had a lot more things but it was adding up with the price i ended up spending about a hundred dollars and five and below which isn't bad but i did have other things in the basket and i put it back because i'm like um so we're gonna see what i can do when i think i spent like thirty dollars in dollar tree and then a hundred dollars and five and below so about 130 we're gonna see what i can do with that so first things first, I spent this time just clearing off my bed, getting all the books and all of the miscellaneous items off, and then also clearing off the shelves on top so that I could lay my bed cover that I told you guys about that I got from Amazon on, as well as put my pillow, my, um, what is it called? Like a bed pillow, putting that on so that I could start decorating. Pull myself together the day I'm so shy Trying to find something to say Whatever I say needs to So over here, I knew that I wanted books in one of these bins. I knew that I wanted all of my books in a nice area and then I also wanted to have like fuzzy socks, maybe um, a blanket or two, just in this one little corner. So that's what I started trying to put together over here. But as you will see sooner or later, I struggled with figuring out what I wanted to do in a lot of these spaces. I knew I had a roundabout idea, but I just couldn't quite get it. And it took a while, but that's all right because the ending was worth it. Okay, so this is an area where I made the wrong call. <laughs> I bought a canopy because I originally planned on having a backdrop behind this chair for when I record. And I thought that I was going to get a curtain, but I couldn't figure out how I was going to hang it up until I recognized that when I went to Five and Below, canopies have these um, loops where you can hang it up with a hook. So I planned on using a hook. But the problem is I forgot that canopies also have these rings inside of them and it was just too big for the area. Not to mention the white was a little too bright for me. So I didn't even want to cut it up and use it. I ended up not using it. And also the hook did not hold up because it was a little too cheap and the ceiling is made out of fabric, so. <laughs> I love you forever We can make it together What goes up must be down There's lots of friendly faces all around And nothing's ever lifting me higher Than a touch of your sweet desire What we're all, we'll turn right We just have to hold 
on through the night As long as we are watching the fire We'll be safe from the devil's choir Stand by you when you're falling When the river is calling I said I love you forever We can make it together Okay, it has been long awaited, or at least for me. Um, also, before I do the big reveal, I just want to publicly say that I did not do this 100% by myself. I definitely needed help and my mom came through. So all that B-roll that you see is definitely her sweating in here. So um, I am going to go ahead and do the big reveal. I think it came out super beautifully and this will be done some other days some other time this ain't even the point okay but are you guys ready okay <laughs> definitely what I pictured there is a bee in here why is it like the same bee that keep coming up in here but oh my goodness so I'm okay my let me just give you my goals because I feel like I said it previously but I really wanted to be more descriptive of what I was trying to do so my main goal was to be able to have a studio set up so that when I record I'm able to have a nice setup space instead of trying to set up down here where my bed is because it's always a place where I sleep well a place where I live at you know what I'm saying and it's it's sometimes annoying and it makes it more daunting to have to edit or record and things like that so if I have a place like this you know it's already set up for me it's nice it's aesthetic I got this ring light from Amazon I will link it I, I don't know if I'm pointing to it I will link it uh there we are <laughs> I will link it in the description box I already had this table for a while I got this from Amazon too that's my laptop this chair is from my mom she actually had one so I took it from her um she's gonna let me have it um and I believe you can get it like anywhere I even seen some I believe at five and below so it's not expensive to get one and then so over here this was like something that i had no idea i was going to be able to achieve but it is so cute what i have is my books i know i wanted a place for my books so these are all my books um i have the same vines that was it was like 
in this corner over here for the longest of time but i've just brought them over here they were in my last decorating video so i had them from i got them from shein.com and then I have this blanket from Five and Below. I have some socks from Dollar Tree. They're just some fuzzy socks in case I wanted to, you know, get comfy in here, especially because it's about to get cold. I have these baskets, both from Five and Below. Um, if you look closely, there are two little succulent plants in here. This basket, by the way, was from Five and Below as well. And these succulent plants were, were both from Dollar Tree. They're super cute. I knew I wanted to have some type of greenery in here. And then another thing I got, I actually almost forgot about this, is this light. I got it from Five and Below as well. It's probably pretty bright, but I put it specifically near the books just in case it's a little darker. And I wanted to grab me a book and I needed extra light over here. So that's cool. And then it's just Velcroed on there. So it's not messing up the interior. Then if you move forward, I have this basket, which I've already had from, I already had from Dollar Tree. I have these two extra fuzzy socks. They're super thick. I got these from Five and Below as well. I have this cup. It says The Office. I love the show The Office. It's hilarious. On the other side, it says World's Best Boss. I got that as well from Five and Below. I put some candies in here. They're actually disgusting. I don't know why I picked this flavor. I, I was thinking too much about, okay, office. I need something with coffee. So I grabbed these, these are nasty though. Um, but I got them from Dollar Tree. And then I have this plant here. I got this from Five and Below. Then if you move, I'm like literally on this ladder here. But if you move to the center of the area, I have this here this is a calendar i got from five and below i also have this magnet here i was thinking that something in here was going to be metal but everything is vinyl or plastic so i had no choice but to put it on my calendar but it just says snaccident which is super cute because i be having some of them um and then right now it's actually september but by the time you guys see this it'll be october so i wrote october on there behind it is just this i got from dollar tree i was just grabbing stuff that fit the color scheme i was trying to do some green a little bit of terracotta ish uh brown not too much though and then some black then you move forward over here and i got this as well from dollar tree it's the same thing as that it's just hooked over the chair this chair again was from my mom. I have this pillow. This was from Five and Below, but I had this a while back from my last video. Um, I already said that this cover was from Amazon. Only problem is it gets pretty linty. So I actually have it as a reversible. So I could always turn it around to the plush side if I want to. I'm just, you know, filling it out. I think I'm going to have to turn it to the plush side. But if you want it or something like it, I'll link it down below. Then if you move over here, I have this battery operated plant light over here. It's super pretty and it was from five and below as well. I could turn it off and on. Let's see. So I think it'll be a cool knickknack for when I'm recording. And then over here I have this massager from five and below, which I tried it out in the store and it feels magnificent on my traps. So, you know, for you drivers out there, if you get tight shoulders, I would suggest getting something similar to this. You can get a better machine, but I just got this because it was $5 and it's still really good. So, you know, and then I have this, this fan right here. It says, hallelujah. I got it from Dollar Tree, so I couldn't pass it up. Um, I just know that sometimes the truck, when it does auto stop and start, sometimes it won't start when it starts getting hot and since i'm up here i just figure until it starts i'll just use the fan this over here that we just got some chips we got some nutella sticks like nutella and pretzels and we have a little bit of popcorn so i just wanted to give you guys a picture of what future sit down videos will look like um unless i'm in a different space but this is what it'll look like if i am sitting down with my whew, it's hot 
this is what it'll look like if I'm sitting down in the future now that I have my ring light and I have this setup. Isn't this cute right here? I think that's so cute. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Understand that you could definitely spruce it up even more if you want some string lights. You could put some string lights up in here. You could put stickers in here if you want to. You can have more pillows. You can, I mean, even I could spruce it up some more from what I, what I have. You could even put a rug up here, have a a sectioned off little situation it's totally up to you but i did want to give you an opportunity to see something different from something you've normally seen um, when it comes down to trucking um, you definitely have the opportunity to make this space your own we don't have much space but i count it as however many beds is however many rooms you have so now i got two rooms I got the studio and I got the bedroom. I love you all so much. I hope you enjoy. If you have any tips for anyone else or for me, or if you just want to tell me something that I probably didn't even think about in this video, let me know down below and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.